The shocking hypocrisy unveiled in the CCC recall saga involving self-appointed Secretary General Senjizo Chibenga exposed. In a surprising twist to the ongoing political drama, Senjizo Chibengu, who has declared himself the interim Secretary General of the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, now finds himself entangled in a web of controversy. Accused of exhibiting double standards, Chibengu is facing scrutiny after unilaterally selecting candidates for the upcoming December 9th by elections. This move starkly contrasts with his earlier vehement criticism of the imposition of candidates when recalling opposition legislators and councillors earlier this year. Shebangu's decision to trigger the by-elections was driven by his assertion that the recalled legislators were outsiders imposed on the people. However, his recent actions have raised questions as he hand-picked candidates without conducting internal primary elections leaving himself vulnerable to charges of hypocrisy. The recalled members of parliament, including proportional representation legislators, primarily hailed from the provinces of Matabili Land South, Matabili Land North, and Bulawayo. Political analyst Romeo Chosera highlighted the glaring inconsistency in Chibangu's actions, stating that he had an opportunity to demonstrate his envisioned democracy but instead chose to select candidates personally, seemingly favoring his acquaintances. Chosera commented, his main reason was that the recalled legislators were imposed. He had the chance to showcase how his envisioned democracy works. But he simply came up with a list of candidates, he told Newsday. At least during the August 23rd and 24 elections, the CCC had internal processes to choose representatives. This individual simply compiled a list of his friends. When reached for comment, Shebangu's spokesperson, Kolifoni Fujini, denied the allegations of hand-picking candidates, asserting that they had not bypassed the primary process. Fujini clarified, we did not need to go through the primary process, but we selected candidates who were chosen by the people but were then disadvantaged for various reasons. So there was no need for a primary process because those people were already there. Others were favored over them. While Fujini maintains that their candidate selection was based on those who were previously overlooked. Concerns persist regarding the lack of transparency and the absence of an internal election process. This move raises questions about the integrity of Chibangu's leadership and the extent to which the CCC adheres to democratic principles. The controversy surrounding Chibangu's actions cast doubt on his faction's credibility, with critics arguing that his recent behavior contradicts the values he claims to uphold. In a political landscape where consistency and transparency are crucial, Chibangu now faces a pivotal moment that will test his ability to lead with integrity. As voters prepare to cast their ballots in the upcoming by-elections, the nation watches with anticipation, eager to see if Chibangu's allies will emerge victorious and challenge Chumisa's preferred candidates. The outcome of these elections will not only shape the political landscape but also serve as a litmus test for Chibangu and his associates. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.